Hello, my dear friends. Well, this is Rahul Kalmar, and uh, today uh, we will discuss about the syllabus of maths, means quantitative aptitude. As most of the students requested to me that, sir, please upload some videos regarding maths, regarding short tricks in maths. So that's why today I came uh, that uh, video of maths in which we discussed about the syllabus. So as we know that quantitative aptitude is really very important subject if you want to score maximum in competition exam. So if you want to score maximum, so first of all the important thing is that Firstly, you should know about the syllabus of that subject means when you are trying to competition exam when you are trying to compete any competi competition exam so first of all you should have about uh, good knowledge of uh, all subjects even the topics of every subject means <coughs> for example if we talk about the quantity aptitude mass it is very important that you should have a good knowledge about each and every topics which comes in quantitative aptitude in bank exam okay so today we will discuss about the syllabus of quantitative quant uh, if you are trying if you are going for bank view and blank bank clerical exam okay so as you already know about me myself Rahul and I'm posted in state bank in Bangalore and uh, because of you people only I posted I upload some videos so that it helps you I want to share my ex I want that you people got benefit about my ex uh, about my experiences from my experiences so that's why uh, today I came uh, with math video okay so let's discuss first of all uh, we divided this uh, quant aptitude in three parts numerical ability, arithmetic ability, and data interpretation. Okay, so as you see that in numerical ability, the first is speed math. Okay, speed math is very important as you already see that in speed math, some topic is there addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, squares, cube, and all these things. So from the age of childhood, we are doing multiplication, subtraction, addition, but the main difference between now and them is your approach. Means you should know the right strategy. For example, if you're doing any multiplication question or if you're doing any, uh, if you're finding square or square root, so previously what you do, you take pen and paper and you solve it and after 10 minutes or 7-8 uh, minutes you find answer but here in competition exam time is always a big matter so you have to maintain speed as well as accuracy and for maintaining speed you should know the best tricks for finding multiplication, squares, cube and all those topics which comes in quant so the important thing is that even most of the students know about all these topics those are BTECs and who have maths in uh, previous classes but the important thing is that you have to know the right way the best way the short tricks which helps you in quantitative exam in competition quantitative exam so if we're talking about the addition subtraction multiplication as we see that addition subtraction is very basic thing but the important thing is that when you have uh, addition and long numbers is there so you have to add in your mind means if you use pen and paper less it means your chances in competition exam more okay so addition subtraction multiplication how to multiply any two digit number or three digit number in mind within second so if uh, we, we discussed all those tricks division how to find squares or how to find square roots how to find cube cube roots fraction and bond mass rule so mainly what i noticed that most of the students when they started maths for competition exam so they started either the profit and loss or ratio proportion from these topics but they don't know 
that how to multiply or how to calculate fastly so without knowing the uh, calculation properly if you go through all these topics it's only the wasted of time because i already told you the important thing is that how to calculate or how you answer the question in very short time plus with accuracy also so if we talk about the numerical ability so the important thing is that that we should know about how to calculate fastly that's why i made it as a speed math okay uh simplification in simplification all all questions come uh, at once means uh, in one question uh, multiply also there divide also there plus also there so as you know about simplification if you cover all these thing so already you know about simplification approximation same here the answer come in approximation number system number series equation means the important thing in this section is all these calculations okay let discuss about the arithmetic ability okay as you see there are some topics there are total 15 topics in arithmetic ability averages percentages profit and loss si ci simple interest and compound interest ratio and proportion allegation mixture problem based on ages problem based on trains partnership time and work time and distance allegation and mixture pipe and custom boat and stream inequality actually Uh, the important thing is that here i discussed all topics which previously comes in bank exam or now also comes in bank exam but things are changing day by day so all these topics are there but it's not necessary that all topics came in exam no the important thing is that you should know which topic is important which is not so if we discuss about the mathematical ability you should know about means how to calculate whether it is multiply divide square cube root all these thing how to calculate fastly in my within seconds okay if we talk about the arithmetic ability so averages is important percentage is very important okay after then ratio proportion very important and why these topics is important actually if we talk about arithmetic ability question comes from averages for one marks maximum two marks in percentages one marks maximum two marks in ratio proportion one marks maximum two marks but if we discuss about the di data interpretation which is which is the backbone of a pu exam means if you are appearing for pu exam so in maths you already know that if 30 number paper so 20 or 25 number carries the di carries 20 or 25 number from 30 okay so you you can uh, judge the weightage of di and if you want to become a strong in di so you should have good knowledge of averages percentages ratio and proportion and all these calculation how to calculate fastly so all these things helps in di so that's why as uh, that's why these topics are more important as aspect of di also profit and loss one or two marks question come simple interest and compound interest allegation mixture sometimes question comes from allegation mixture sometimes no